Good morning all of you. Today we will discuss the linear partial differential equation of second and higher order which I created for OER submission. And the main points of my video is first we will discuss the linear homogeneous partial differential equation of nth order with constant coefficient. Rules for finding complementing function. Then we will discuss the example based on complementary functions then we discussed rules for finding the particular integral then we discussed the example based on finding particular integral now what is the linear homogeneous partial differential equation of n and other with constant coefficient this is the general form of the, this type of equations it is called homogeneous because all the terms contain derivatives of the same order now if you replex del by del x by d and del by del y by d dash we get this equation so it is the symbolic form of this equations now rules for finding complementary functions consider the second order partial differential equations okay now put del by del x equal to d and del by del y is equal to d dash we get this equation so equation 2 is the symbolic form of equation 1 by multiplying n of these two by z we get n of d to z which is again n of del to z by del x square so after simplifications again we get the equation one so first step first we replace d by m and d dash by one for the for finding the auxiliary equations so we get the quad equations it is a quad equation of right and then we will find the roots of these equations now suppose the now suppose the roots of auxiliary equations are real and distinct say m1 and m2 then cf is f1 of y plus m1x plus f2 of y plus m2x now if the roots of auxiliary equation 3 are equal then cf is f1 y plus m1x plus x times plus x times f to y plus m to x now consider the equation we have to find the solution of this equation because the right hand side of this equation is zero so pi of this equation is also zero so cf is the complete solution of this equations now first we reduce the this equation in symbolic form by putting del by del x is equal to d and del by del y is equal to d dash we get these equations then we will find the cf so for so for cf first we find auxiliary equations by putting d is equal to m and d dash is equal to 1 we get these equations it is the equation of order 4 so so we get four roots m is equal to plus minus 1 and m is equal to plus minus i so cf of this equation is this because pi right hand side is 0 so pi is also 0 so cf is the complete solution of given equations now in the next slide in my next video we will discuss the rules for finding the particular integral okay so please watch my next video okay thank you so much for watching the video